Yes, that's right, my friends. The mysterious potion I have here came from the far distant east. One drop of this, and the lovely ladies will be all over you. You've used it, have you? Oh, indeed I have, on a luscious dancer in the port of Goulon. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy getting away from her. <laughs> you? Uh, <laughs> it's the truce! <laughs> I said to get out of here, you fang freak! I'm going to cook something special for Lyle, so bug off! Well, I want to make something, too! Uh, forget it! <laughs> Just scram! I'm going to cook the most wonderful meal ever, and when my Lyle tastes it, he'll be so taken with my skill that he'll look at me and say, Oh, Russia, never before have I enjoyed such a wonderful meal. You are truly the most amazing woman I've ever met. And you'll be <laughs> You don't want to make me angry, Fang girl. Little fool, do you really think Lyle would be impressed by that garbage you're preparing? Silly Wigan, don't you know that a refined man like the Prince would never dally with a girl with a tail? Only a lady of the most refined grace and intelligence would make a proper match for him. And I'm the only one of those on the ship! The monotony is taking its toll, isn't it? There's not much for a rune explorer to do on the open sea. While you, on the other hand, can run your scams and shady confidence schemes practically anywhere. <laughs> Land or sea, I try to keep my hand in. And you're no stranger to the nautical way of life, either. Well, actually, I'm more used to traveling in the hold than a private cabin. Ho, ho, ho! Then at least the only rats you might find in your bed will be traveling first class. <laughs> Yeah. Miss Gallop, the captain wants to see you. Yes, yes. Well, take it easy and try to relax until we get to the island. <sighs> I just wish it was as easy as that. Just thinking about how to handle Ragudoral gives me a headache. And I'm not getting much help from the others. Miguel just plays with his sword, and Rasha and Fam keep fighting. Hmm? Do you mind? Uh-huh. No. Don't you just love the ocean on a day like this? It's so tranquil. Mm-hmm. Eerie, how many different countries have you visited? I don't know. I've been traveling so long that I've kind of lost track of them all. <laughs> you don't know how much I envy you. <laughs> I bet that's the last time I'll hear Prince say that. So, you meet a lot of us, then. Well, actually, you're my first, oh, great and honored sir. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> um, but seriously, Lyle. You want to know about Ragudarol, right? That's right. The northern continent was comprised of numerous nations, but they rallied around Rebart, the nation that my father, King Rian, presided over. My father was a just and wise ruler, and he preferred the path of peace to that of conflict whenever possible. Still, the seeds of war may be sown in any ground on which humans tread, no matter how wise the ruler or how prosperous the times. To that end, my father maintained a staff of wise aides and ambassadors who brought about a new age of peace. It was a time of great rejoicing, 
The twin bounties of peace and prosperity yielded a harvest of plenty, and the lords and peasants alike celebrated in festivals of wine and song. Those were the happiest days of my life. There were noble comrades in whom a young prince could place his trust. And there were women, including one who I came to love as much as life itself. How could I have known then that that happiness was soon to end? Under the strong encouragement of my father, I left Rayan on a journey. It was my father's wish for me to venture beyond the boundaries of the nation in which I was raised so that I might gaze about at the vast open world that surrounded our borders. Saying farewell was difficult, but this was part of my duty as a prince, and in any case, I would not be gone that long. I returned to find a land of ash and rubble, where green fields and lush orchards had once bloomed. Only char remained. Not a structure remained standing, from the army garrison to the smallest peasant hut. Prince Lyle. Who is that? Is somebody there? Prince Lyle, you've returned at last. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Chamberlain, what happened here? Raguduru, my lord, he unleashed the power that the king had sealed away. He unleashed the forbidden magic. And what of my parents and Maria? <coughs> Tell me! Turned to sand and, and ash and blown away like the morning fog. He left me like this. He left me alone to pass his words on to you, my prince. What? And then he hung me on the wall to wait. He said to tell Lyle that Ragudarul seeks the legendary ultimate power you must you must stop him my prince oh. left alone he will oh. rayon's neighbors fell to ragudarol's powers as well following ragudarol's path of destruction i headed south i wasn't about to let that monster take possession of the ultimate power somehow I had to stop him, no matter what the cost. But you said Ragudaral was a man of peace before you left. What happened to him? 
I don't have the answer to that, Eerie. Maybe the magic he unleashed was so horrible that it drove him completely mad. That was the very reason my father had it sealed away in the first place. And now he's after something even more powerful. Eerie. Hmm? Seeking and destroying Ragudarol is something that I've sworn to do. But you're under no such oath. Neither you nor the others have to come with me. Ha! Don't be ridiculous! We're not going to back out at this stage of the game. I think you underestimate your princely charm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Siri. You're an amazing woman. Uh. <laughs> oh! You cheat! No fair! How could you? You were talking with Lyle all alone while we were slaving in the kitchen! Lyle! Pretending to be uninterested and then sneaking around behind our backs. Talk about your shameless hussies! Uh, excuse me? Hey, Lyle, food is ready. You mean you cook something, fam? Yeah, so what? Uh, well... And why did you say it like you did? Never mind. Well, be that as it may, could we take this below deck? The dishes that I slaved over are getting cold. Yes, let's eat. Why don't we all go down and eat together? Uh-huh! I worked very hard on this. Well, I can't wait to taste it, then. Hey, excuse me, Rasha. You do know how to cook, don't you? I'm not talking to you, Sneak. Uh -oh. oh. This is amazing, Rasha. Well, it's not much, really, but I had to make do with what I could find in the ship's stores. <laughs> My, this is certainly something. I guess it goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover. What was that? Oh, no, I, I didn't mean it the way it sounded. I mean, it was amazing that you're so good at so many things. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Your meal is over there! <laughs> well, come on, let's get started. Yes, let's. So, are you really sure that the Mirror of Truth is still hidden somewhere on the island of Salagio? Is my credibility so low that you don't trust my information? In a nutshell, yes. <sighs> well, let's just say there are dozens of reliable records proving that King Ludark had the mirror on the island and leave it at that. Yes, I'm familiar with those records as well. I'm the one paying for the ship and crew. Would I waste money if I wasn't sure? Well, I think you'll find this meal to be an outstanding bargain, but it's getting cold. Lyle, try this. This is much better than that. I'd be very wary of eating anything as strange looking as that if I were you. Oh. Oh. Ah. That mutt! Oh, calm down. Are Don't you, you ever relax? I've spent a lot of time on that. Ah. Want me to calm down, you buffoon? Oh, be quiet. Hmm? Is something wrong, little doggy? Oh. Ah. Um, yes, this does seem to be rather spicy. Well, I guess you can cook good lucky food. This is impossible. Um, hey, are you okay, Russia? This can't be. <laughs> I tasted all the food and I'm cooking it. Oh. And what might have been in those bottles, I wonder. <laughs> I was wondering about that, too. I guess asking them is the only logical course of action. What did you just say? Would you mind repeating that again? I asked if you would teach Lyle and I to use our swords better, and if Raja would teach Fam magic. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Raguterol is a real nasty character. I don't know how much it will help, but I want to try to increase our combined strength as much as possible. She's right. We're going to need every edge we can get to take that monster on. Rasha, can we count on your assistance? Uh, why, yes, of course, if that's what you want, Lyle. 
Well, I'm not interested in sharing any of them. Oh, but you'd be more than glad to do it in the name of the cause, right? How many times does it take until you get the idea, you idiot, huh? Use your head a little. Do you really think a little girl like you has a chance of taking me head on? Oh, come on! Why don't you give me a break? Is that any way to talk to someone who's doing you a favor, huh? You're the one who came to me asking for the sword lessons, aren't you? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Ah, whatever, I'm sick of your damn whining. It's your turn, Prince. Right, I'm yours. Wait, Miguel, what about me? Oh, why don't you get one of those bored-looking sailors to fight you? Then at least you'll be evenly matched. Hey, just what in the hell do you mean by that, fist fight? Hey, I'm doing you a favor. I know you sailors love to fight with girls. It's the only way you can win. Hey, we don't fight no girls! Yeah, and anyway, maybe we might be willing if the girl was a good looking like that blonde trollop, but not some time girl we're not even sure is a girl. Yeah, give us that blonde in a chainmail bikini. Oh, oh, Are you calling me a boy? Say that again! I dare you! Uh, oh, yeah. ah! It's much better! Laundry? And it needs cleaning. Do you want me to do it? Huh? Are you saying that you have a problem with that? No, no, of course not. I I'm glad to do my share. And when you're finished with that, the kitchen floor needs to be waxed. Don't let me catch you goofing off. I wouldn't think of it. <laughs> You're going to help, too! Come on, Fangirl, there's no time to waste. Um, yeah, but... Yeah, but what? Uh, about these spells, they're the kind that break and hurt things, right? The spirits don't like you if you keep using bad spells like that. Don't um... be stupid! What would magic be good for if you couldn't use it to blow things up? The more powerful a spell is, the more destructive it is! That's not true! My magic will allow me to talk to spirits and check on the weather and let me do other useful things like that! Right. So tell me what good checking the weather is going to be in our fight against Rigudero. Well, maybe not very much, but I still think that... Look, I'm not doing this out of the goodness of my heart or because your partner asked. I'm doing this because it's important to Lyle. You do want to be able to help Lyle win, don't you, fam? Mm-hmm. Well, all right then. Recite the fire spell for me. Um... How did it go again, Rasha? <sighs>
<laughs> what the hell's going on here? <laughs> it's freezing. Hey! The ocean's frozen over! It's impossible! <sighs> what's going on? Easy, men. Don't panic until we know what's going on. Rosha, stand ready. Right! Nice of him to visit us. Well, well, well. It's so nice to see all of you together. Were we going someplace? Smile? Were well, you looking for something, Prince? I'm afraid you're just a little late. Eerie, what's that? It's the mirror of truth. Yes, and now I'll be taking the other two items, please. Oh no, you won't! <laughs> The great Miguel has defeated over a hundred horsemen in one battle. You blow hard. Be careful, Miguel! Guard yourself! <laughs> what? Huh? Ah! Damn. The limits of your puny strength have now been revealed. Now witness mine! <laughs> It was foolish to dismiss the possibility that someone could use spells of the same type as mine. I shall return your favor in my castle, and for this small pain I shall repay you a hundredfold. I shall be waiting. <laughs> Is that wise? He's got all three items he needs to summon the ultimate power. If he has time to complete the ritual, he'll be completely unstoppable. Sam, you talked directly to the spirit of Sargus, and he promised to help Lyle defeat Ragutaral, didn't he? And you've never heard of a spirit not keeping his or her word, have you, Sam? Mm -hmm. And we still have a chance, see? Ragutaral may have taken the sword of Sargus, but the spirit of the sword is on our side. Don't you guys get it? You mean that 
he hasn't become the owner of the sword in the true sense. Uh, yes, that's it exactly. This saga's not over yet. I can't believe a mouse just said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get a move on then. We've got some unfinished business. Uh, uh, Ari? You heard what Ragoodorl said. There's some connection between my style of magic and the form he uses. I don't quite understand what it may be, but at least it looks like we're not completely helpless. <laughs> Tell me that she's not going to stay like that. Mm -mm. She takes these pills. <sighs> Are you ready for this? Yeah, sure! It's the next and final episode of Runex 